It's lasted longer than the pyramids. This right here. This is the Pyramid of Brittany. Hi, I'm Lavi and this is Oli. Over the past four years we have been on some epic adventures around the world. Now, after converting an old van into our new home on wheels, we are ready to hit the road and explore the wonders of Europe. Click the subscribe button to follow our journey and let the adventure begin! Oli the driver! <laughs> okay. Keep it clean. You ready? Good afternoon. <laughs> Welcome to our Odyssey. We are here in the town of Karnak in southwest Brittany. Oh, wait, hold on. Where are we? Southwest? Northwest France. Northwest, Northwest yeah. France. Good afternoon. Welcome to our Odyssey. <laughs> So we have driven here to the town of Karnak. This is in northwestern France and we are here to see the famous Karnak stones. <laughs> or in French, the Element de Karnak, which is probably really, really immaculately spoken. At up to 7,000 years old, the megalithic alignments here are one of the most important centers of European prehistory. So apparently there are nearly 3,000 of these standing stones around this area here and it's apparently the biggest gathering of this type of stone. And after all this time, hopefully they're still standing and we can go now and visit them. <laughs> Although this place is not as famous as Stonehenge over in the UK, with 3,000 stones here, I'm pretty sure this is going to be an amazing place to visit. Absolutely. So, let's go. Let's get going. <laughs> All right. You know, I did read a little bit about this before we, before we came here. I've been reading a book by Neil Oliver called uh, History of Ancient Britain. And um, he mentions he mentions this site in that book actually. Um, although it's a history of ancient Britain, of course, the people of Britain are, are incredibly closely connected. I mean, this is Brittany after all. So, yeah, the history here is 100% connected to the history of Britain. Okay, so first we're going to go into the Maison de Megalith. Here, it means House of the Megaliths. But I imagine this is the uh, information center, so we can learn a little bit more about these ancient structures. COVID procedure. Yeah, we need our vaccination proofs. Our ticket to travel. Yeah. Success. We're in. Asterix and Obelix, the ancient culture of France. I didn't totally get what they were saying in the film. Uh, they couldn't give us headphones because of COVID, so and the subtitles were also in French, so we just had to make the best with what we saw. But we could see there that they moved the stones with a series of logs and ropes and they just rolled the stones along. And then uh, there was one bit where they were talking about how they raised up the stones and uh, they did that with a sort of big sort of Y made out of sticks and a rope going over it and then they tied it to the stone and then loads of people pulled and the Y kind of went like this and the stone on the other side of it also went like this and they lifted them up. 
like 3,000 times over. That's really impressive. <laughs> so we're gonna take the train now, which takes us around all the different sites. Very exciting. And it's very cheap as well, actually. It's like seven euro per person. Just good for the budget travelers. Oh, no, I think, I think he's just leaving. We'll have to get the next one, it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I think the next one is coming already. Yeah? Ah, here's oh. the next one. <laughs> We've got our tickets. Carriage three, row three. Row two. Carriage three, row two. Here. Beautiful. Oh, that's nice. The COVID save. They're playing like some Celtic music, it sounds like. So on, on this um, headphone, just the one side is working, this side here. On this headphone, as well, just the one side is working, so I would just use both headphones now. <laughs> Stereoscopic. <laughs> oh, we're starting. <laughs> we are going on the train, the petit train. Okay, we're going through the town of Karnak now on the train. Look at this. Okay, so they were just saying that this lake behind us is actually used to be a salt lake. So they used to use it to harvest salt. And you can see there are piles of salt in the middle of it. first alignment. So this is the Kurlaskan alignment and there are 550 standing stones here and they also told us on the headset that the word menhir is used for these and menhir is in the old Breton for standing stones. They also said that when they discovered them 80% of them were actually fallen over and uh, they've since put them back up back to their former glory but that's the smaller of three alignment fields the curler scan that one and now we're heading to the second one they just told the story that the legend goes that the men here were created when the Romans were invading and as the Celts were retreating, the Celts turned them into stone. And that's how they formed. Okay, so that was the second field of alignment stones. Uh, it's called the Camario alignments. And uh, that one has 1,100 stones. How do they mow the lawn, you ask? Well, they use sheep. So we've arrived at the largest of all the fields of alignments. This is called the Menic alignments. And I didn't exactly catch how many Menkirs there were, but over a thousand. Okay, so we're arriving back at the visitor center. The visitor center is actually next to the largest field, the Menic alignments, uh, and there's a walkway that takes you around the field. Um, so we're gonna hop off the train and go for a little walk.
Merci. Okay, it's time for an up close and personal look at the stones. And there's one right here. twice my size <laughs> wow yeah there are a lot of them and they're all so big yes so there are 11 different lines of stones yeah let's uh, go for a little walk shall we yeah So in order to go actually inside the area, you have to take a guided tour, but uh, as you can see, you can get very, very up and close without actually going inside. Apparently you can go inside between September and May. If there are a lot of people now at this time in the year and they're walking around everywhere they want, it's really likely for the stones just to... down the field of alignments uh, they all got a quite a lot smaller all the stones so that's what they sort of did they put the largest ones all up at one end that was sort of the most impressive end and then uh, yeah they slowly get smaller as you go along but each one it still weighs a hell of a lot it's actually a very big area here you can spend probably like three hours or something just to walk around and discover and see everything yeah you could see when we were on the train that it's like field after field of of alignments of monuments um, yeah. <laughs> there's a quite a lot to see here in Karna yeah pretty crazy place and I found out as well that the word Karnak means a pile of stones <laughs> so that's a pretty apt name for this place if you ask me <laughs> Okay, so on the way round, we saw there was a little creperie, and so we got a cap and also an ice cream. <laughs> oh my god, this massive crepe! This chocolate, it's so good.
that was really delicious break and we've been pretty much eating power chocolates all day today <laughs> and, croissants. and croissants i don't know what it is but as soon as we came to france it was like oh let's just buy giant bags of croissants and power chocolates no actually the first thing we did was <laughs> getting a big baguette, baguette and probably like four different types of cheese oh my god <laughs> you know when in france hey oh they know how to eat hey <laughs> okay so in front of us in the camario alignments area is uh this structure which is called a dolmen if you look down here It's actually a massive structure where they've laid huge stones over other stones and the whole thing would have been covered with earth originally. And this is actually a mass grave site. Um, and there would have been a lot of bodies buried within this structure. So it's a giant sort of tomb that's been made out of giant stones. It's incredible. That is some really, really good construction to have lasted that long. It's lasted longer than the pyramids. This right here, this is the Pyramid of Brittany. <laughs> French history. Okay, so we're back in the van and we're driving to what I've been told is a huge monolith called the Giant Manio. This is supposed to be the largest of all the monoliths in the area. We're just going to drive to that now and uh, just see how big this stone really is. Let's check it out. All right. Beautiful. And everywhere around this area, you can just see like standing stones, like monoliths, just on the edges of fields and stuff and used as like benches. You can imagine how many of them have just fallen, covered with earth, moved, and still we have 3,000 of them left for us to see, but you can imagine there must have been so many more originally. Here we are. Whew. Can you imagine trying to get this thing to stand up? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Let's head back to the van. We found a free camp, which is about 20 minutes from here. Uh, we found it on yes. iOverlander. Which was recommended. Exactly, by... so we haven't checked it out yet. We don't know, maybe it's like not suitable but i think it will be yeah. so we will drive there now and check it out hopefully we we are somewhere on the beach and we can still have a nice swim we will see you Okay, so it's really full, but we might just be able to come in here next to this tree. I think we can, just for the night. Otherwise, there's no space. Let's have a look. <laughs> this is where sometimes it helps to have a really small van. Here's a look. The whole place is full, 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 full. But look, we could just squeeze around here and, oh look, there's a tiny space at the back, just for Red Tornado. <laughs> and the beach is just over here, so we're gonna check it out. This is how close we are to the beach. The van is just here. And over these sand dunes is the ocean. 
Not bad for a bit of flour and a couple of different cans. <laughs> yes. Okay, we're gonna eat. We hope that you have enjoyed today as much as we have. It's been beautiful here in the northwest of France, and uh, we really liked Carnac, and we just really like the coast. So mm -hmm. It's amazing. So we will catch you on the next one. Good night. <laughs> Good night. If you enjoyed watching this video, you would help us a lot by subscribing to the channel by clicking here. Thanks so much for watching guys, we will see you next time. <laughs>